uh, just like to congratulate Michigan. Um, tremendous victory. I thought two teams who played really hard. Um, really proud of my team. I thought we battled like crazy. And um, just really disappointed that our run ends here. You know, it's, uh, it's a tough loss because we, I felt we deserved to win the game. But I guess sometimes other things come into factor and you got to live with it when you're trying to climb the mountain. So it's for another day. Questions for Trey and Alex. Again, raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. Right here on the aisle. Oh, for either of you guys, I mean, to, to battle back the way you guys did after, you know, staring at that early deficit, you know, what were you guys thinking uh, as you were making that comeback? Trey, if you take that, please. Just frankly, we thought we were going to win. I mean, there's nothing, nothing more that you're really thinking about is what, what it takes to win, and we just wanted to make tough plays because we felt like we didn't do that last time we played Michigan. But, I mean, we, this time we did, but we just still fell short. Other questions for the student athletes? Right down here in front, second row. Alex, on the last second shot, what did you see when you were attacking the glass? And did you have any kind of conception of how much time was left when the ball left your hands? Yeah, I, I, I had some idea. Um, all I was thinking was, I remember uh, the first time we played Michigan, I also got, had a chance to get an offensive rebound, and he got, it, he got tipped out. And you know that was something. Coach said that was lack of toughness, and you know I want, I did not want to lose this game, and I said I'm going to go grab this rim and put it back in and send us to overtime, and, and it happened. Stay here in front. Alex, four points in the first half for you, 16 in the second. Uh, what, what changed for you after the break? Just the urgency of, you know, if we don't win, it's going to be my last game. And I wanted to win this game and, you know, keep playing. Um, and, you know, I, I'm also a senior leader, and I wanted to leave everything on the floor. Right down here in front, second row. Um, for both of you, was there, a, you, you just talked about how you're thinking about how it's your last game. Was there a moment after the game when you thought, wow, like it's over? Trey, I'll start with you, please. Uh, yeah, I mean, just emotions, you know. Been through so much, you know. You know, this university's done so much for me and Alex. And, you know, it's just, I think the first thing when you have a deep connection is just emotions and when you care about something. So I think that was the first thing that came to mind. Alex? Yeah, just. Uh, I, I was just, pre first time I was just sad that we lost. And then, you know, everything came back that it's going to be my last game. And, you know, it is what it is. Wish we play more. Got time for one more, if there is one, for the student athletes. Right here. Hey, Trey. Um, when Brian was inbounding at the end there, you came around, looked like you had a little opening for a three. Um, you're obviously hoping he's going to pass you that ball. What did you see there? Uh, the play, uh, that was kind of uh, I mean, if it was wide open, it, we would pass it. But it was more of a decoy to get the second screen for tap. And um, he had a great look at it. And then we executed perfectly, just didn't knock it down. Trey, Alex, thank you very much. You may return to the locker room. Again, the Northwestern locker room is open until 3.04. We'll start here on the aisle with a question for Coach Collins. Thanks. Uh, Chris, you said, um, I guess sometimes other things come into play. What are you referring to there? I don't know. I don't know. You guys saw the end of regulation. Looked like a lot of steps on the end line. Duncan Robinson, but I don't know. I don't know. You guys watch the game. Make your own determination. On the right side here. Um, um, you guys have played a lot of games in overtime. Why do you, why do you think you've had so many overtime games with, um, with them? Well, I just think we're two uh, evenly matched teams. You know, I think we're, I think we're evenly matched. I think we're two good teams, two teams that deserve to win that game honestly. And um, I guess our name isn't big enough yet, and that's something we got to fuel ourselves. We don't have the brand name yet. And that's something we're going to work on. We're fighting like crazy. 
it's, it's a battle that you know, I can't even talk. It's a battle I'm fighting so hard. And, but that's what I'm fighting, and that's what I'm going to keep fighting. And I'm really proud of my guys. You know, we don't, we don't have that brand name on our chest, but you know what? We play good basketball. We're a good team now. I hope people take notice of that. I hope people take notice of that. We're a good basketball team and a good program, and we're going to keep getting better. And hopefully one day we'll be viewed as such. Going back here on the left. Coach, you guys did a great job on Duncan Robinson the first time you played him. Did you feel like he was kind of the difference for them all? Yeah, he was tremendous. He played great. Um, thought he got loose. Uh, we had a couple breakdowns. He had a big three. He, he got fouled. We fouled him on a three in the first half. We got, he got five free throws, which for a great shooter, you never, want a, you never want a great shooter to get free throws because he sees the ball go in. And, you know, obviously that three he hit when they were down three, that's just a big-time shot. Uh, I'd have to look at it again. I thought, I thought we defended it pretty well. It was a good set by Coach Beeline. He came off. I thought Ola was all over it. He's fading. Uh, just hit a big-time shot. You got to give him credit. Um, thought he played very well for them today. Right down in front. Alex and Trey were both talking about this game as if it was their last. Do you believe that it's going to be the last game of the season for you guys, or is the postseason something that you are kind of confident that you guys will be able to get a shot to play in? Well, I hope so. I hope so. I hope the league will fight for us the way they fight for other teams. Take one last one right here on the aisle. <laughs> Chris, yeah, obvious. You, you were sitting next to Trey and Alex, and if that is their last game, I mean, the way they played, not just tonight, but, but all season, I mean, how does it show, how much does it show the, how far they've come and how far you guys have come? I told those guys after. Um, I told them after to remember what it was like when we had our first team meeting, you know, and you got a new, you got a new coach, a young coach. It's a little bit disarray. We didn't know if Drew Crawford was coming back, you know, and I had a core group of guys, man, that, I had a core group of guys that just believed in me and my staff coming in. And really all we wanted to try to do was be in a continuation of what the pro – I didn't think the program was in an awful place. Coach Carmody is a hell of a coach. He proved that last night. I wouldn't have come to Northwestern if I didn't think he was in a place where we could then try to build on what he did. Um, and for what those guys have done for me these last three years, I could never repay them. Um, you know, they've given me everything. Uh, I feel I've given them everything. We've gotten better. And I think that showed today, you know, for us to win 20 games, eight league games, to not have Vic Law all year, to not have really Alex Ola for about 10 or 12 league games at full strength, to still find a way to gut out eight wins and, and have a great opportunity to win today against a really good Michigan team. I think it shows how far we've come, and they should be really proud of what they've done for our program, and I hope they feel as we move forward. I hope they feel when we do accomplish the things we want to accomplish, I hope they feel great pride because they'll be a big part of it and a big reason why. We're going to sneak one more in here. With, uh, all right, thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you, guys. Appreciate it.